This is Twit. Last week, as predicted and planned and and as we talked about several months ago, the NSA did release Ghidra version 9. Uh, that was last Wednesday during the RSA conference. Um, uh, this is, I'll remind our listeners, their free, powerful, and mature interactive multi-platform reverse engineering tool. Um, the official site, you should, you, you should bring this up on the screen, Leo. It's neat. Is that second link there? G H I D R A hyphen S R E dot org. Um, and uh, and actually, I'm the NSA at uh, RSA and actually met one of the developers of Ghidra. They were all excited about Ghidra. Yeah. At the RSA. Uh, uh, after our mention of it a couple months ago, I received all sorts of terrific feedback about Ghidra's backstory and proper pronunciation because I was clueless. I think I was saying Ghidra or something. Uh, anyway, several people said, uh, <clears throat> Steve, it's Ghidra. Uh, anyway, the, the, there's sort of an IDA, if you stretch, in the middle, and that's for interactive disassembler. So that's where this word oh. came. From. Yeah, oh, it's a, it's a it. but it's also of, Godzilla's, yeah. you know, buddy. Yes, exactly. Um, anyway, Ghidra has been used internally at the NSA and other similarly closely aligned government agencies, like the CIA, we talked about a couple months ago, for more than ten years, during which time it's been evolving and developing continuously. It will doubtless prove to be extremely useful for anyone researching the operation and security of closed source software, and of course, including for reverse engineering malware. The NSA explained that their general term, their general plan was to release Ghidra to enable security researchers to get up to speed and get used to working with it, get this, before applying for positions at the NSA. It's a recruitment or, tool. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. Or other, yeah, isn't that interesting? Or other government intelligence agencies with which the NSA has previously shared Ghidra privately. Um, so as we explained when we first noted this coming release, Ghidra is a free alternative to IDA Pro, it, IDA, I-D-A, Interactive Disassembler, which is a similar reverse engineering tool that's only available under a very expensive multi-thousand dollar, um, I mean like several thousand dollars priced uh, license. Um, so by being offered for free and soon to be open source, they're in the pro they're still in the process of getting it ready for open source release. There is a link. you you can find a Ghidra, at GitHub, but it points you over to this uh, the 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 site that you're uh, they, they, that you went to and brought up on the screen. Um, so, by being offered for free, of course, most experts expect Ghidra to snap up a big portion of the reverse engineering tools market share immediately, uh, especially since the reviews have been almost entirely positive on GitHub. The NSA has this to say. They they wrote, Ghidra Software Reverse Engineering Framework. And that's what the SRE is, Software Reverse Engineering. They said, Ghidra is a software reverse engineering framework created and maintained by the National Security Agency Research Directorate. This framework includes a suite of fully featured high-end software analysis tools that enable users to analyze compiled code on a variety of platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Capabilities include disassembly, reassembly, decompilation, graphing, and scripting, along with hundreds of other features. Ghidra supports a wide variety of process instruction set, or uh, they actually meant processor. They wrote process, processor instruction sets. And by, um, by God, I mean, I saw the 6502 is there. So if you've got an, an Apple 
two or a Commodore sixty four. Oh, can disassemble Chopper Command. Exactly, oh, or Dig Dug, or Gold, uh, <laughs> Gold Super what was it? A lo Load Runner. Load Runner. Yes. Ooh, I would uh, like to disassemble that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, and executive and executable uh, executable formats and be run in both user interactive and automated mode. So literally, it will emulate the processor, and you can run the code in Ghidra. Users may also develop their own Ghidra plugin components and or scripts using Java or Python. They wrote, in support of NSA's cybersecurity mission, Ghidra was built to solve scaling and teaming problems on complex SRE, again, software reverse engineering efforts, and to provide a customizable and extensible SRE research platform. NSA has applied Ghidra SRE capabilities to a variety of problems. Oh, don't you, don't you know it? <laughs> that involve analyzing malicious code uh -huh, and generating deep insights for SRE analysts who seek to better to, who seek a better understanding of potential vulnerabilities in networks and systems this repository meaning at github is a placeholder for the full open source release be assured efforts are underway to make the software available here in the meantime enjoy using ghidra on your sre efforts I mean, God, I'm so tempted to play, but I can't. Developing your own <laughs> scripts and plugins. Steve, spin right six, Steve. I know. I know. And perusing the over one million lines of Java and Slay code released within the initial public release. The release can be downloaded from our project homepage please consider taking a look at our contributor guide to see how you can participate in this open source project when it becomes available. If you are interested in projects like, here it is, if you are interested in projects like this mm. and would like to mm. develop this mm -hmm. and other cybersecurity mm. tools, yeah. the NSA, for, for NSA to help protect our nation and its allies Consider applying for a career with us. <laughs> so, anyway, Leo, this is going to be big. I, I mean, uh, I know, I'm sure that Ida Pro has been cracked, and on you can get like cracks for keys and and so forth, you know, on the net. There's just no way that a tool for for that with that kind of profile that is being sold for that kind of money hasn't been cracked by the crackers and you know available but having an arguably superior tool as i said a couple months ago uh this announcement was not good news for the the folks at hex rays that have been arguably extorting the market for because they you know they had a captive market for years um that's over uh yeah, installing ghidra is as simple as unpacking a zip archive the only requirement is a version of the 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 jdk the java development kit 11 or later which is needed to run the apps gui the tools official docs had the following to say about installation well, or quasi-installation, they said, Ghidra does not use a traditional installer. Instead, the Ghidra distribution file is simply extracted in place to the file system. This approach has advantages and disadvantages. On the upside, administrative privilege is not required to install Ghidra for personal use. Also, because installing Ghidra does not update any OS configurations, such as the registry on Windows, removing Ghidra is as simple as deleting the Ghidra installation directory. So you just, just dump the files out of the zip and you're ready to go. They said, besides an installation guide, Ghidra's docs also come with classes and exercises for beginners. 
intermediates and advanced levels that will help. I mean, the NSA is really going for this. Although these, this was probably all developed for partners like, you know, other people at the, at the CIA and other law enforcement where they wanted to do reverse engineering, but they were like, huh? Now we, okay, we unpacked it. Now what do we do? So the point is there's a lot of support here to, uh, to help people get it going. Um, and they said, this will help users get used to the tools GUI, which is very different from any similar tools, i.e., you know, IDA Pro. So this is not good news for the hex ray fo hex rays folks, uh, but it was inevitable. Uh, and boy, I mean, uh, they this is a strong offering. And Leo, I think this is going to be significant. You know, the idea to that where a, you have a tool like this. I mean, I really think this is enabling of, for example, this is the, the perfect follow on to last week's subject of, you know, a, a career as a bug hunter. You cannot bug hunt unless you have a way of looking at code. And here it is mm -hmm. free for the download, a potent world-class tool for allowing someone to start looking into code and developing an understanding of what it what it's doing and how it works, I, I just think this is very cool. Now they just have to release a, a fuzzing tool, and we'll be we'll have the complete set. Uh, exactly, we can do all, all the hacking, all the reverse wow. engineering. Bug wow! Yeah. 